Come on, man. Hot Sun Invader. Woo! Let's check it out. Hey, this is Rick with Shooter 1721. Come on, man. Check this out. Hot Sun Invader 25 cal semi automatic. Just a ton of fun. You can see we have a scope on it here for today's review. And we're going to shoot about 40 yards with the scope. And as you saw in the beginning of the video, we ran the red dot. Now, my eyes are getting a little older. Yeah, a little bit older in Earth years. I don't know how old I really am. But, you know, I, I definitely needed to run the red dot because those open sights that it comes with are great. Has the AR handle grip for it. Works, looks awesome. But I had to move to a red dot just to do that intro for you. Woo! All right, so let's check this out. So we got the weaver and pick rail. And we got that anywhere on the gun. You can see that we have sling studs here. Okay. You see you have your adjustable cheek piece back here. You, uh, as far as the mags that it comes with, you can see we have three in 25 cal. Now this is 25. Three 10 round mags. And you'll see that we're shooting a Vortex Strike today. We're going to see the accuracy of those at 40 yards. So we'll check that out. The scope I have on top here is the center point, 3 to 12 by 44 which is a great little scope for uh, shooting like this. Um, the length of the rifle is about 40 inches. It weighs 8.2 pounds. The barrel is almost 20 inches. I think it's 19 and a half. And what I'm seeing out of this feet per second wise, I'm seeing uh, anywhere from the, like, depending on the pellets I use, sometimes like with these, I'll probably see 750. So, and I did run some GTOs, which were way over 800. They were probably at 900, I think which was a lot of fun and very accurate. Uh, the trigger pull uh, on this is something that we'll test in this video and show you what that is. But, um, oh yes, let me talk one other thing. So you can see here we have a fill probe that comes with it. And it is 3000 PSI fill. I think uh, CC's is 255 CC's. And uh, all right, now that's enough talking. Let's shoot this thing. Okay, here we are at the bench with the Invader, and we got uh, Hatsan Vortex Strike 24 sevens. And uh, we're going to shoot five shots at 40 yards and see what we get. All right, center point, 3 to 12 by 44, one of my favorites. Uh, for uh, When I say favorites, what I'm talking about is you have a budget PCP, which the Invader's a decent uh, price. And I like putting this on there. 12 is enough for this gun. 12 power is great. All right, well, you don't want to hear me talk. Let's just shoot something. Okay. Holy cow, Ryan, did you see that? Yeah. Hey, they shot great. Uh, wow. I... Oh, wasn't expecting that. I didn't see that. In pre-testing, just so you guys know at home, uh, in pre-testing, we were kind of around an inch. I don't think that's an inch. So we didn't know what we were going to see here. But uh, the more we shoot it, the more the gun seems to be tuning in. So uh, I'm pretty impressed with that group. All right, let's see what else we can get into. Okay, well, we got the chronograph, got the FX chronograph hooked up here. And um, we're going to shoot... Uh, some numbers here for you and we'll go through a shot string. I actually loaded up three mags with this guy and 3000 PSI fill, okay? So you're basically looking shot count. I'm gonna guess somewhere around 24, 25 until you're really dropping off. But we'll see what we get on the first one here. But let's see what we get here, nothing. There we go, okay. Did you hear that sound? And you're like, what What sound? It probably may be on camera, but I can tell the difference when the mag's empty, so I know. There we go. Now, that the first shot I shot didn't register, so. Um, 
So we'll just remember that and stick this one in there. That one didn't register either. Neither did that one. Seven hundred forty seven. Seven hundred thirty five. Seven hundred thirty eight. Seven hundred forty two. Seven hundred forty two. Seven hundred see that sound it goes I can feel like a vibration in the gun there's just a little bit of vibration but it's telling me that the bolt came back and sorry about the chronograph here but we're getting the readings and you know we're looking at uh, what we that we have registered we have like 16 registered here so all right and it looks like standard deviation right now seven nine and uh, the spread I think is 28. So let's see if we get this first one to go. There we go. Let's see. 742. 735. 731. 738. 733. 731. 728. 712. And you could hear that sound again. So, well, there you go. Uh, we got, we have 26 registered shots there. And I think that's about where she's at. She's somewhere right around in there. But you get to see what it's doing in 25 cal. Um, honest with you, love I, the scope. It's accurate. The gun's accurate. We showed you that. But the red dot on here takes the fun factor on up there. That's what I like about this gun. I put a red dot on here and we do some trick shots with it and just have a blast with it. Plus you got the old semi there so you're able to, you know, hit this and put the hammer down. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's see what else we can get into. Okay, here we are with the trigger pull test. And uh, that's one thing about the gun is the trigger. Uh, when I go to shoot for accuracy or I do trick shots with this gun, you have to take the dead out of the trigger, as Jerry likes to say. And uh, we're going to do that. But with the trigger pull test, let's see what it really is. Okay. 7.2 pounds on that one. <laughs> so now you know what I'm talking about. I have a... The, my finger definitely has gotten a workout in the last couple years. So we'll... We're able to pull that no problem, but let's check it again. Yeah, 7.10. So you're at about a 7-pound trigger pull right here. And uh, you're like, 7 pounds? Yeah, but when you're shooting it, I don't care if you're shooting semi. Uh, I'm sorry. The, when you're shooting this, you just squeeze that, squeeze that trigger, and you'll feel the relief when the trigger's going to go off. You'll feel where that's at. Uh, for me, it's not a deal breaker because I know how to shoot it. And I sometimes... I'm not putting total, you know how we talk finger control with being able to put your finger, you know, putting your trigger in here or out here or in here. Well, I'll put it in here and pull straight back with it because it being seven pounds. But uh, anyway, we just wanted to show you the trigger pull. All right, let's get to some final thoughts. Okay, here we are at the end of the video. What did we learn from this video? Okay, we learned that, you know, as far as 40 yards, I mean, it, it's pretty doggone dead accurate. I was pretty happy with that group from the Vortex Strike 24-7s. That was pretty cool. We learned that uh, the speed, we were sitting around that 740, 750 range. And as you see, as we were shooting, it does go down. You know, you're, you're seeing your velocity go down. But you're getting probably 25. You get more than that, really. You probably get about 30 shots. We saw 26 on there. But we shot three mags. Of course, they didn't register. So you're probably getting about 30 rounds out of it. Um, things that we liked. Accuracy was great. Uh, I liked the being able to put the red dot on here and being able to put any any optics or whatever I want on here, flashlight, any accessory I want. Kind of love that. I love the adjustable cheek piece back here. I set it up for when you do get a red dot on there. This gun's just a straight ton of fun. The only downfall for me is, yes, the trigger. You know, you're looking at seven pound trigger. 
you know, that's, that's up there. And, uh, but otherwise, and the reason you're like, well, why don't you adjust or listen, these guns come the way they are. That's the way we show them to you. We don't do any adjustment. If I do an adjustment, I tell you, but I want to take them out of the box and show you the way they are. And that's what we do. And I'll tell you what, Ryan, I would really like to see this in 22 cal. I would. I like the 25, but I'd like to see this in 22. This is Rick with Shooter 1721. Thanks for watching. Woo!